hey guys this is alex from 4c trading and today we are doing it a little bit different because we're looking at bitcoin dominant chart and right now it's kind of it's really important to look at it right because it can kind of give you a perspective to how long this uh alt race on binance or should we say aggressive alt race on binance will be going on right so as we already know, BTC USDT contracts are usually closely follow, uh, followed by BTC. So if BTC goes up in the price, they follow. But uh, when it comes to BTC pairings, it's not exactly like that. If BTC pumps or dumps, they will most likely go down either way. But if BTC ranges, then they mostly go up, right? Or they mostly recover. But uh, back in the past, that didn't work, uh, especially around here, because BTC dominance was quite on a race. So which kind of explains to why so many alts ended just doing lower lows lower lows all the time right but now this structure right here you have first possibility for a bigger alt run uh, in a long while actually right we haven't had a decent alt run since 2019 as you can see right i mean basically from since yeah early 2019 around here yeah so basically speaking right now if we lose this level if we lose this level right here, we will get a little bit of a bigger pullback on BTC dominant chart, which means alts will rise. Now, consider a little bit that there are, consider a bit speaking, right, that there are like a couple of thousand alts. Um, not all of them will run. They will most likely go up by a little bit, but you will have some alts like link or something that will just pop considerably, right? And they will gain you 500, 600, 700 percent, right? So, basically speaking it's impossible to level which alt that's going to happen you kind of need some luck at it because you will not get that from ta alone right you need some good news you need some good community and everything link is all of that but obviously if you check link right now he's already at the new highs right so it's not really that more interesting because you don't know how much place does it have left it certainly has place left if this happens link will go towards seven eight nine bucks right but it doesn't have that potentiality of do the, doing like X8 or 10 anymore, right? That one has sadly passed away. Okay, so now we're looking at, right? There will be most likely there will be another reaction at this level, right? I, I do not think BTC will just drop this level like nothing and go under it, right? I do think there will be a reaction at this level or we already are seeing a reaction because this is technically an area, right? And this reaction can either last us uh, all the way to up here or even since we sort of haven't tested this here right here right so we have could this reaction last us okay so this week is very questionable as well because we don't know if it is legit week or it's just something out of the box you know i don't even know what that happened how could that spike so much on btc dominance and then fall and uh, like the same day right so technically speaking we could still test this because we could consider because of this week we don't know what it is it, that it's untested level right so after that happens, then our next course, right, from a structure like this should be highly likely that we go lower, right? And then from that point on, we go lower, which this can still, which this, as you can see, this can still take a couple of months. Then we can get a little bit bigger drop and, of course, a nice alt reversal or should I say a nice alt um, reactions, right? And hopefully we're going to tag everything above that, right? So that would be quite a considerable move, right? Of 10% that is quite a big move on BTC dominant right and that's sort of how the logically speaking we could have a bigger bigger alt run right obviously there are possibilities if it goes all the way up here it is possibility that we actually reverse and then we never go under it but uh, as it's looking from this structure right now if we return to this area pump from it again we have a high chances of then uh, in the future of breaking this area right so we'll see what happens guys right but and then chat I'm saying like it pays off to observe the BTC dominant charts in times like this because it can really give you a good clue on how far the alts will really push, right? Because, you know, once alts reverse, many, many people will get wrecked because they will all chase them uh, on quite, quite bullish levels, right? And you don't want to be one of them because when alts get wrecked, you get giant slippages. So, you know, your stop losses are going to be skipped. You're going to get slipped and you're going to lose a lot of money. So be careful, right? So, uh, well, thank you for watching, guys, and see you next time.